Hello guys, welcome to today's video. And uh, doing an engine build, uh, a piston and cone rod is the most important part of an engine build. So for today, we're just gonna talk about connecting rod. connecting rod there are many many options in the market we have a lot of choice in terms of the bean shape we have i bean we have h bean we have x bean but for most of the volkswagen and audi application we are seeing the h bean and i bean the one we are offering is um, is considered to have the highest strength is the i bean connecting rod it's made of steel and the material is 4340 steel. In regarding to the design of the connecting rod, we have um, several special features. The first one is that we have grooves on the crank side for the big end, uh, which is intended to let lubricants to pass through the connecting rod to lubricate the bearings. As long as you know that when a connecting rod is doing his work, it's basically under a push and pull action. So we need to lubricate the crank bearings. And also in regarding to lubricate the crank bearings and also the piston pins, we also have a drill inside the connecting rod. So the lubricants will be able to pass through the connecting rod and will be able to lubricate the bearings and also the piston pins. Additionally, we also have a groove you can see on the small end which is uh, creating a closed loop for the um, lubricant pressure. So we will be able to have an uh, oil ring in a small area. It will further lubricate in the piston pin. For the connecting rod bolts option, we have two options offering. Uh, the first one is ARP2000 and the second one is ARP H625. Uh, basically, these two rod bolts are most commonly seen in the market and um, it's made for different applications. As we know that when the engine is running, the connecting rod is doing a push and pull uh, reciprocating the job or reciprocating work. They are putting tensions on the connecting rod bolts. So the most likely to fail parts for the connecting rod is actually the connecting rod bolts. So in this way, it really depends on how much you're gonna push the engine. If you're gonna do, let's say, plus 1000 horsepower on a four cylinder or five cylinder, it's better to have a, a ARP 625. If you are just tuning a car let's say around 500 to 600 uh, wheel horsepower on the four cylinder and 800 wheel horsepower on the five cylinder. So it's better for ARP 2000. The difference is the tensile rate of the different materials. So uh, it really depends on case by case. So we balance the connecting rod before we send them out. So all you have to do is just put on your new piston just to do another measurement. And also for the, for the connecting rod, I know that for five cylinder cars, uh, the most popular uh, pin size is 23 millimeter. For the four cylinder cars, the, the 22 millimeter or 23 millimeters are all popular. So we are offering both pin size and uh, with all the op option of rod bolt it will suit your needs and in reality all this connecting rod has been tested and it's a race proven product we have seen 1200 wheel horsepower cars on the dyno this is it uh, for today's video so we we'll see you next time and uh, have a nice day bye bye